Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're go I'm going to be showing you how to make a light switching system. As you can see, this is a, a darkened file. Press F3 right now, it shows the actual lighting. I can't see anything. If I press F2, it shows the unlit form. Uh, okay, so this map is, uh, is a bit too dark for us to see. We're going to create uh, ceiling lights and not only that, we're gonna add switches that control the light. First of all, let me make a folder for blueprints. And then, let's create a... Let's get a blueprint, an actor, and we're gonna call that ceiling light. Let's give it a mesh. In the starter content, there is a, a mesh for for uh, ceiling light. Here we go. Lamp ceiling. This thing. Um, that it comes it by default like that. Now that we navigate to this M lamp through the content here, starter content props and materials this M lamp can be used to control the light brightness anyway let's see here in the material for M underscore uh, lamp there is this color emissive this by default is around this much and this V controls the brightness of the light bulb so we're also gonna be controlling the light bulb instead of just light lighting the place so by default let me make for just to make it simple I'm just gonna color it white pure white like that you want let me put as like black pure black yes pitch black now that we made it pitch black we can copy the color emissive over here close that and now as you can see here the light is turned off so now we are going to be controlling if this light is on or not so we create a variable called is light on like that by default we leave it at false and we create a function we call it update light like that this update light checks if um, if the light is on or not grab the static mesh over here set parameter set vector parameter i think what's called here we go on yes on materials and then we paste the the name of the color emissive it actually depends on what type of mesh you have right now since we are using the static mesh lamp we use this color color emissive uh, here you need to have a material inside this mesh that has a, a controllable parameter with the name and from parameter value you select select uh, yes select vector so if the light is on we're gonna do i don't know uh, just to make it view properly i'm gonna increase more than one so i'm gonna do two 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 so uh, two, the brightness will be two 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 in every color red green blue and here it's gonna say zero so that means if the light's on, it's gonna do this. Lights off is gonna do this. And now let's add the lighting. So you're gonna do spotlight. Or you can put any type of light you like. I'm gonna put spotlight for now. It spawns like that when you place it for the first time. So you angle it 90 degrees to face down and bring it down there, over here. Yes. And now we find the, the visibility over here, the visible, and just turn it off. By default, it's gonna be off. Update light. Okay, from the update light, drag out the spotlight and do set visibility. And attach it next to right here, over here. The is light on, you get it over here and attach it to new visibility. So this means that if the light is on, the spotlight will turn on because it's visible. So this is really simple. So we go to the event graph and from begin play we do update light and why not just make this is on is light on editable compile and save and um, yes editable is good enough okay so let me drag out the ceiling light over here that we just made by default if i play right now nothing is visible let me see where's the light see um nothing i can't see anything so if I go here and enable the is light on, as you can see, it's turned on over here. Here we go, like that. And now let's make another function inside this. Right now we made update light. Let me make um, turn light or switch light. So let's call it switch light. This switch light will have a parameter boolean and call it uh, turned on like this turn on question mark and it 
would set this directly like this this is light on and would also update the light just like that simple as that and also let me make it private so that it, uh, you cannot access it directly through the variable so you can access it through here see it's turned off right exit again it's turned on but you won't access it through blueprints directly you need to use the the function okay now we need to create a switch to make a switch let me create a new blueprint class an actor yes and call that switch yes call switch and we make something simple so we make a huge uh, just a cube like that and let me scale it to make it look like a some sort of switch so we have a cube over here you can make it uh, your, your own you can put your own mesh over here i'm just gonna make cubes like that simple as that so i'm gonna make a cube, cube uh, two cubes like this one big one small and when when it's on like that um it's if it's out like that means it's turned off if you pr uh, press e or like get near to it it gets it moves inside so that it, it looks like it's pressed make a variable called is switched on like that we make it the same as thing as we did before make a function call it update switch and this is going to let me uh, check if the switch is on and moves the the cube over here inside let me call this button or something anything so it moves it, it's gonna set its lo uh, relative location and do a select vector here so if it's switched on it gets inside the inside the the whole thing the button so we're gonna when it gets inside it's gonna be number one the x value will be one and if it's not switched on it's gonna be ten great simple you can do it as any any way you like right now i'm just gonna do it as simple as possible so this is gonna be one and this is gonna be ten like that the relative location make sure it's relative location not actor or world location so we make this the switched on to be private and make two new functions the first one is going to be um, the same name as the as the variable so i do it or actually no get is switched on like this switched on so basically it's going it's going to return it's going to return what is it here it's going to return and switch on directly i'm gonna make this private so that uh, you um, you won't be accessing it directly and mess things up and from the second function we created new function underscore zero we're gonna do um, switch toggle we're gonna do switch toggle yes the switch toggle it doesn't need any input it's gonna set the switch on to be the opposite of what it is so if it's on it turns it off if it's up if it's off it turns it on not boolean this one you add this in the middle and set it like that so let, let me place the button over here and here we go let me flip it on the other side like that and we need for the player to have a interaction thing we need to have a way for interaction so let me do this real quick so you go to the first person character over here and you type in any input you like i'm going to put keyboard e e why is not showing properly to scroll down here we go keyboard e and do line trace by channel the start um, i have a tutorial for line uh, interaction you can go check it out right now i'm just gonna do it really quick drag out the first person camera and do get uh, world location here we go, attach this to the start this is gonna be the start of the line trace the end is gonna be um, a bit of a calculation so we do get forward vector uh, from the camera multiply it into a float over here I'm gonna give it like 150 and add with the 
with the get word location here and that's to the end like that that's that's all you have to do so basically this the start is gonna be the the line trace beginning where the, the location of the camera and the second part the end is gonna be the location of the camera plus going in direction plus 150 um, units so from out here to over here we just break it out like that open that don't be scared it's, it's a huge thing but don't worry you do from hit actor cast to switch what do you call it switch don't choose anything else like that and if it if it if it hits a switch we do toggle toggle switch switch toggle yes this is what we call i think yes is that it yes that's it so now we go into draw a debug so that we can see properly and let's do it and unlit so that we make sure that it's actually toggling can see properly nope it's not working <laughs> i forgot one small thing over here we forgot to update the switch after we set it right now see it switched on and off but we forgot to update it yes so now you can go back to unlit mode and if i go to this if i press it, get, it gets inside i can't see it i can't show you in the render mode but because it's nothing's visible and now let's link the switch with the light so how am i going to do this so as you can see in the switch i made something called get is switched on this will return uh, the state of the switch if it's on or off so we need to link this together this light and the switch uh, through a level blueprint so you go click over here and open level blueprint now we're in the level blueprint uh, we, we have uh, the switch selected over here and just do get reference to switch and just do event tick over here too yes why not and also you need to go back and select the the ceiling light and also add reference and now that since we got um, our ceiling light over here we do switch like this would be called our function and if it's turned on or off it depends on this guy over here so we do get is switched on whoops i forgot something really important as you can see this has an exec uh, execute um, node you can double, double click that and let's disable it so that we don't need to do that so you make this pure the get is switched on now we go back here now as you can see it's like a fun proper function so we drag this over here stand on or not here we go okay as you can see it's not pressed if i press e it, turn, it turns everything on and off on and off you can do this with multiple light too you don't have to you, you can you can do it on multiple ceiling lights you can put like this many select them all click drag this into the level blueprint now we have it all over here and just all attach it all to the same place so it's going to switch the light for each and every one of them so if i go press e all of these turn on turn it off again turn on see all of them are turned on press again all of them are turned off okay so that's basically it for this uh, tutorial hopefully, hopefully guys you understood how things work and see you guys next video goodbye